What's up everybody, it's Jason. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to keep going on with the 30 on 30. And today I want to talk about the team of the day, which is the Houston Astros. Okay, we're sticking in the West right now. Uh, we've got a couple more teams after the Astros. We actually have six more teams after the Astros. Um, and then I'm, we're going to move over to the East. But if you want to take a look at the other teams I've done in the West already, take a look in the description down below, as well as the teams I've already done in the Central too. Um, and, um, and then I will be moving over, obviously, to the East. And take a look at a bunch of other recent videos that I put out in the description down below as well. So, first timers, welcome to the channel. Um, so, <clears throat> the Houston Astros, uh, <laughs> to me, is a, they're in a kind of a kind of a funky spot. I mean, obviously, you know, Hinch is no longer there. Uh, I like the Dusty Baker hire. I think he'll be good, um, you know, for some of these guys. But I think they're going to undergo some uh, some change. Obviously, Justin Verlander's down. Uh, from Tommy John surgery, so he's going to miss the entire year. Um, and at an advanced age, there's no guarantee he's going to come back either. And I think he'll actually be a, fr I think he'll be a free agent after 2021 anyway. So he might have to, if he wants to keep playing, he might have to go, you know, go with somebody else on the low uh, for for a cheap deal to to reestablish his value. Um, but who knows? He's a first ballot Hall of Famer either way, so he'll get interest either way. Um, and, you know, George Springer, there's no guarantee either that he's going to uh, come back. Um, and, um, you know, which, which could, he's, one, he's been one of the mainstays of the, of the lineup for a very long time. And uh, so that, that could impact, you know, excuse me, that could impact the team as well. And um, so there's some, you know, there's going to be some change. You know, they're going to undergo some change and... Um, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens this offseason. You know, a couple years ago, they obviously won a world championship. They've been competitive in the playoffs. They've also had a cheating scandal. There's been a lot of stuff going on with the Astros. Um, but they're still a talent-laden team. They have a lot of talent. Um, you know, so, but what I've identified are their major needs. Obviously, one of them is starting pitching. Being down an ace, you know, you have a need of starting pitching. Look at my baseball book. Center field will be another need, too, because of Springer eventually moving on. And I do think he'll be moving on. Um, and maybe bullpen, um, you know, and even a, well, even a versatile player as well to play multiple positions to give some of the, you know, younger guys or older guys a break, but, um, they have enough depth and, and, and there's some top prospects to be able to handle that stuff. So I'm not really too concerned there, but starting pitching, um, what I think they should do is bring back Charlie Morton. Um, you know, he was lights out with them. He's been lights out with Tampa Bay, particularly. And his lights out, he's most lights out in the postseason where it counts the most. And that's where teams like, you know, Tampa Bay and Houston, you know, kind of reside and, and want to keep living there. So um, I, I think they should bring him back. Um, he'd be a big fan. And potentially another arm, you know, even if it's a, 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 a Mike Miner or something like that, just another arm to give some depth to complement Granky, who is. Also, kind of on the decline too. But then they have Jose Arquiti and some of these other uh, other folks uh, and some younger prospects. But I think they need to bring in a, you know a stabilizer, and I think Charlie Morton serves that role. And Minor would give them a little bit more depth uh, in the starting rotation and some veteran protection, um, which I think at this point is 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 a big need for them because um, I think they will be in a state of transition over the next few years, and they kind of have to decide. Um, you know, the following year, uh, I think Carlos Correa is going to be a free, he's part of that ridiculous free agent shortstop bonanza, um, you know, which will be him, Trevor Story, um, Francisco Lindor, if he doesn't get extended by then, and Javier Baez. I mean, four superstar shortstops that are going to be free agents. That's insane. Okay. That doesn't really ever happen. So, um, he's going to be part of that and he's young. So, I, they are going to have to decide whether to either either trade him for a boatload of prospects before he becomes a free agent or lock him up to a long-term deal. I mean, those are the only two options. A guy like that, you don't give him a qualifying order because you know he's going to turn it down, but all you're going to get back is a comp, you know, as a draft pick, which isn't going to be in the first round um, with, the new, you know, with the new agreements and stuff like that that happened a couple years ago. Um, <clears throat> so that's a decision you're going to have to make too. One of the decisions, obviously, is George Springer. So, but in terms of starting pitching, I, mean, I think Morton and somebody like Miner would be a good thing. Uh, or even if they brought in somebody like a Ty Taiwan Walker, I mean, he, he could be a good fit for a lot of teams, and I have recommended him. So, we'll see. Um, <clears throat> bullpen is another need. 
Uh, and I think they should bring in somebody like Brad Hand. The, the Indians did not exercise his $10 million option. He could probably... Well, actually, I don't know if he's going to get get anything less than $10 million. Somebody might pick him up for more. Um, but chances are he'll be hovering around either $10 million, potentially in a two-year deal. He's a power lefty. He's been dominating. Um, he's relatively young, too. I think he's 30 or 31, so he's got some years left. Um, and he'd be a good fit. And again, another veteran presence, kind of a drama-free one, uh, in that in that bullpen. Um, you know, and they should probably bring back Ozuna as well, their closer. So, um, you know, I know he's got some history and stuff like that, but he he was pretty he was pretty decent for them. So, but I think if you're gonna bring in Ozuna, you have to bring in somebody like Hand as well. So, I think they should bring in two incremental starters and two incremental relievers. Either way, uh, for depth for, for depth purposes. Um, and outfield, I think they should, you know, or center field, I think they should re-sign George Springer, obviously. I mean, he's, you know, he's, he's a bona fide star. He's been, he, he, he's, he's 31. He's going to get paid one way or another from them or from somebody else. But he's also, you know, he's money in the playoffs. So, and, you know, teams need guys that are like that. Um, <clears throat> I could easily see him going somewhere else, easily. Um, now, that's what I've, the needs I've identified, what I think they should do. Let's move move over to what I think they'll actually do. Um, and before I do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification uh, so you don't miss the rest of the teams I'll be doing. And I've got a lot of good content coming after that. Um, so what I think they'll actually do, looking at my baseball book, I think they're going to bring in somebody like Jackie Bradley Jr. Um, <clears throat> transplanted over from Boston, also an outfield free agent, but won't cost as much as George Springer, but he's still a legit center fielder. And uh, his bat isn't obvious, obviously as robust as Springer's, but they generally don't really need it to be. I mean, at this at this stage of the game, I think they're going to bring in some guys that um, are just solid players, solid ball players, because they have Altuve and 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 Bregman and Correa and the rest of these guys. They've got a lot of firepower, even if they're losing Brantley as well. Um, uh, I don't th I don't see Brantley coming back either. So I, I see him bringing in. Somebody like a, like a Jackie Bradley Jr. Um, for the outfield. Now for starting rotation, I actually see them bring. I actually see them, you know, bring bringing in somebody. Um, I, I had originally thought it was going to be uh, Robbie Ray, but he signed. He re-signed with the uh, Blue Jays for one year. So I can see them either making a trade for a starter, maybe like a Joe Musgrove or something like that, who has some uh, who has some years of control left. Um, which could be another solid pickup. I mean, they've been pretty good and pretty successful with the trades. They've traded for Verlander, Garrett Cole, Zach Greinke. Um, and uh, uh, surprisingly enough, they've had the depth to actually pull them off, um, which is pretty pretty crazy. Um, they got themselves a title, obviously, with it. So, but I see them bringing in somebody like, you know, um, I don't I don't see them bringing in back Charlie Morton. Um, you know. I can't see them bringing in somebody like a Tywin Walker, but I, I, I actually see him going elsewhere. Um, so uh, I actually see them, my, my more aggressive prediction is to let some of their young guys um, see if see how, see what they have in their young guys. They'll bring in an incremental starter, probably like a Mike Miner, but uh, I don't think they'll break two. I think they're going to give their young guys a chance. I mean, they were in a, kind of a transition anyway, and, and in order to have a power sack rotation, they're going you know, to they're gonna have to make up for... Verlander, which I don't think they're going to do. Um, now it's a chance for like Granky and, and Arkady to kind of lead the top brigade and see what their young guys <clears throat> can do behind them. So um, give them a chance. And uh, while bringing in an incremental pitcher as well, they'll bring in somebody for depth, I think. Um, but they'll give some of their young guys a chance. And then maybe they'll make a trade at the deadline, um, particularly if they offload somebody like a Correa in which they'll get a boatload of prospects back. I know it's probably not the popular view, but Correa is going to cost probably two hundred million dollars. So, can we really see them? We we can, but we don't know. We don't know, particularly since Verlander won't be back. That's thirty million dollars they'll have available. So, uh, and they didn't sign Cole, so that's another thirty million. So they've got they will have money, but it's time for them to make decisions. So, um, in terms of bullpen, I see them bringing in somebody like a Tony Watson. No, not, not really any sexy moves. I mean, Bradley's probably the most uh, probably flashy move I think they'll make, and that's not even uber, uber flashy. So, um, unfortunately, that's just the situation I see the Astros are in. I, I could be wrong. Um, they could make a bold move or something like that and bring in somebody, but 
just don't see it happening with this free agent market and the, the kind of the status of a lot of teams and their needs. But they'll bring in a couple of free agents one way or another, two or three or four positional depth, pitching depth, bullpen depth, um, and potentially make a trade at the deadline. But Jackie Bradley seems to me the most flashy move, and it, it, it's – you know, just because they might have three glaring needs doesn't mean they're going to address them. Sometimes a team has one glaring need, and they'll and and they'll not only address that, but they'll bring in depth at other positions. It's kind of it's the off seasons are weird like that. So um, that's what I see the Astros doing. You know, I, I hope that they do more, um, but who knows? Um, we'll see. And they, like I said, they're kind of in a state of transition a little bit, in my opinion. They have some uh, some tough decisions to make in the next year. So particularly right now with uh, George Springer, whether to bring him back or not, but remember, if they're going to sign him, he's going to cost Buku money, Correa's going to cost Buku money, and then they're going to have, and then, you know, Bregman, they're going to have four guys on nine-figure contracts, four players, so, and, and it's Houston, so it's not like, it's not a, it's not one of the biggest markets out there, so they, they've got to keep that in mind as well, so anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, um, hit that thumbs up if you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave, My, uh, we're going to stick in the West, I'm looking in the book here, the next team we're going to hit, and give me one second. Uh, the next team we're going to hit is Arizona Dimebacks. So that's going to be the next team. So stay tuned, be safe, look out for each other, and talk to you next time.